What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another video, and today we are reacting to the Lil Dirk situation. The channel we watching this video from is called The Family, so if y'all want to check this video out, man, the link will be in the description below. So without further ado, let's jump right into this reaction video. Nigga, you big? That's not you. Talk to him, cuz. You're not what going through, so just hold on and keep going, cause I'm telling you, man. I'm, I'm. I remember watching this uh, video, man. They was really um, giving these young guys some game. These are two older gentlemen that pretty much really live that hardcore street life. They from they from Philly, so if you know about Philly, you know that's pretty much one of the the roughest places to be when you're talking about streets. And um, they pretty much made it made it through the roughest parts and um, became very successful. And um, really was giving these young cats a million dollars worth of game, man. I can name 20, 30 niggas and my homies is dead. I'm here, though. And I'm going to say some shit that, like, this is documented. You know, I got a TED Talk. I forgave my brother's killer. And I'm saying it to say this. Nigga that killed my brother. My, my brother died in my grandma's arms. In that fucking house that we grew up in. Nigga shot my brother. He ran to the fucking, he ran to the house. He died in Nanny Hall when she opened the door. So I'm telling you this, some real sh if, if I ain't let that sh I won't be right here today. I won't be here. And that take a lot, man. That take a lot, man. Um, I mean that, man, um, to forgive somebody that killed your loved one, like as close as your brother. And you got to think, these men are millionaires. They can easily, they can easily, like, take the street route and put some money on their head and, get them taken care of but you know what i'm saying he forgave his brother killer and he really sharing this painful story because i'm pretty sure he still got trauma from that even talking about it is probably hurtful but he was using his his story to try to save some old people you know what i'm saying for my niece and my nephews man girl won't be doing this y'all won't know me i won't be able to get y'all this game but i had to leave i had to let it go nigga i started to grow and I started to glow. And now I'm here today and it was hard in them. And I'm talking about this my big brother, nigga. I shared the cell with him. I shared the bed with him. We this little Steve. But I can tell you one thing. Now I'm out here taking care of his daughter. Paying for her to go to school. Taking care of my nephew. Taking care of my mama and my grandmama. Talk to him. Another thing too, man. When you finally get blessed to be in a situation where you can make millions of dollars. You have to cut the streets loose, bro. You can't be one foot in, one foot out because not only are you providing for you, you creating opportunities for the people who won't have an opportunity if it wasn't for you making it out. So you can't just think for yourself. You got to think, man, if I do this, it's going to mess up all these other people. If I go down, if I go to jail, I ain't going to be able to take care of my family or I ain't going to be able to be the leader to really put everybody in position. So you really got to cut the streets loose because you got more to lose. You know what I'm saying? Don't let the Internet be the reason you crash out because these people that's watching these videos in the comment section, they want you to do something dumb and they don't care about you, bro. Like they really don't. So sure. because I forgave my brother killer, but, you know, I understand. I understand what y'all going through. But I love all you young niggas in here. And I mean that shit. I love you niggas, man. And I, and I hope y'all make it out. I hope y'all make it, man. Man, he like... Straight up, man. It's so crazy. what he's saying. He was saying he hoped they make it out. Just because they got millions of dollars, he knew like, man, your heart's still in the streets. Like, y'all still ain't out all the way. I know y'all still... Y'all still like risk, risking. Y'all taking risks, bro. Like... Craig, yeah, this motherfucker really dropping tears for this, like, shit for real, like. Fam, this part two of what some would say of a Chicago rapper who was tricked out of his position by his fans. Now, it's been a lot of confusion since I put out part one. The rapper wasn't arrested. Internet, Allegations brother, has been made, but also attempts stuff. to flee the indictment. I have it, which I'll later discuss, but also more information being presented. Now, a lot of this information, fam, I'm going to need you guys to come with your own conclusion. I'm here to present the facts, but we all know 
two plus two equal four. Now at the gate, I wanna say this. For those who saying the indictment is not made until Lord Dirk has been arrested, that's false. In order for a warrant for your arrest to be made, a judge has to sign off on the alleged indictment. Or a jury behind closed doors has to make a decision on whether or not you should be prosecuted. Now we also should know this. There's been an alleged wreck in this indictment already, according to social media. Now I'm gonna talk about this guy who they naming and I want you guys to let me know if you guys feel he's an informant or not. But I also wanna note out one more thing. The feds don't have picks. Sean Combs, aka P. Diddy, was just arrested weeks ago. A mogul. Another thing too, bro. I don't care if you got a hunt. I don't care if you got you got eight people or a hundred people that's solid. Ain't nobody telling. If you got one person, one person that tell, bro, it take everything down. And nine times out of ten, out of every little street click, it's a rat in there, bro. Like. There's no loyalty in it, bro. Like, getting in the street or trying to be a street dude, like, it's a wrap. It's a wrap, bro. Because you're going to lose. You're going to lose. I don't care how real you is. I don't care how solid you is. Somebody around you going to snake you, going to betray you. There's no loyalty in the streets, bro. Like, it's a wrap. People say that the main people who say they ain't telling be the first ones who build a whole case against somebody that they swore was their brother and they they live by this brotherhood code. That shit dead. Your best bet is to just be a just be a good dude, man. Like for real, like for over 30 years and if they not gonna cut him no slack they definitely won't be cutting Lord Dirk no slack unless it's beneficial now my hopes for this video in part two is to clear some of these allegations up go over the full indictment for you guys to check out for yourself and come with don't your own conclusion crime. at the end don't but before we go over this one like, I want you guys to remember fam don't, don't give no me no I just give you the story so with that being said make sure you like comment and don't subscribe no we're gonna jump right to it like, Dirk Bank also known as Lord Dirk shot. a Chicago really? Grammy Award winning artist a man who this week alone was Mayor Brandon Johnson's biggest individual donor at 150000 with the Voice Torn LLC. A young man who received two keys from his state this week and also and even sold out the United Center and even had people he allegedly once had beef. think what Dirt made it from. He made it from the streets of Chicago. I'm talking about from the lowest of the lowest where people dying every day. They even call Chicago Chirac like that ain't nothing to glorify it just lets you know how dangerous that place is and you make it out of that to be able to perform in arenas and i'm pretty sure they getting half a ticket a show like millions of dollars to perform you know what i'm saying so you gotta think how many people this one person is feeding like he probably already like just him alone is generating 80 jobs for others so once he get taken down it's 80 people that got to go back to a regular lifestyle that's pretty much back to those rough environments because the only, only way these guys was able to, most of these guys was able to see the world and stay away from home and all that great stuff because of him, because of the shows he got to go to. So when he in jail and the wave of him go down, like people go back to their regular lives, man. So you really got to think. Once you make it out, you have to be a hundred percent entertainer. Ain't nothing wrong with that. A lot of people like to try to make it seem like it ain't cool, but we living in a generation where everyone glorify the streets and then look at you crazy when some street consequences come along. Like, oh, you done crashed out. That was stupid. But don't be the main people in the comment section talking about some slide for fun. You should have da-da-da. Why you ain't da-da-da? You need to spin on your ops. Don't be kids. <laughs> it be kids in the comment section, bro. So, once you get in a powerful position and you done made it through all the obstacles, don't be your biggest downfall. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't crash out. It's mandatory. Like, you cannot crash out. With, share stage with him. Yet and still, with all that happening, less than 72 hours after his performance in Chicago, his mugshot will get released to the public, accusing him of being arenas. the mastermind behind the murder for hire plot. Now, people saying Lord Dirk was arrested this morning, Friday. That was false. 
Lil Durk was arrested yesterday, Thursday, 10-24, 2024, by the Marshal Service. Now, before we go over Lord Dirk alleged charges, I want us to check out some allegations that's been made since his arrest, like him attempting to flee, and also an informant that members allegedly a part of OTF are exposing. One allegation was Lord Dirk attempting to flee to Italy from Florida on a private jet once his associates was arrested. Now, authorities have not confirmed that that's true or not, and that's important especially when his lawyer present a package for bomb. Now the next one is an affiliate named OTF Jam. He was and arrested at the age of 17. He did 12 proven, years. You know, a year after, he decided to try to rap. Proven, he even yeah. was mentioned by Lord Dirk in a song with King Von. Well, Lord Dirk quote in his verse, I gave Jam 50 out that Jam. Ain't gotta ask again. OTF Jam mentioned this in the interview clip I later played. Another thing too, y'all gotta stop. Y'all gotta stop keeping it real in your songs. Stop overly telling people or trying to make people believe you really doing these things in the streets because they're going to really play your songs in court. They're going to really like that, that freedom of speech is dead. Like we got rappers right now that's going down off of mixtapes. They literally playing it in court. So when you talking about spinning on your ops, the judge know what you're talking about because not everybody is up to date in the courtroom or the slang that's used in our culture. So they know what that mean, bro. Like, they know what everything, when you say you spinning on somebody, they know what that mean. They do their research, bro. Like, I'm telling you, don't be your worst enemy. Like, don't be the reason you make it out just to make it in a cell, bro. But it seemed he met Lil Dirk at Lil Reese's house. They all from Lambron, allegedly. I people want to help, so I'm gonna rap about us in these streets. You know what I'm saying? But it really ain't that, so I ain't gonna rap. I'm just a street dude with a little talent. Put it like that, right? Right? It's a big difference. Yeah, it's a big difference. Hell yeah, because uh, shit, you just came home uh, not too long ago, like when you come home. So I've been home a little bit over here. Yeah, okay. A little bit over here. Hey, yeah. 12 years flat. 12 years? Like right, 12 years. Did my time. Ain't told them nobody. Right. Ain't no fool shit on my name. So now I'm back. <laughs> I'm living a life I never thought I'd live. You know? Yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, but like, if you can't talk about it, like, uh, why did you have to sit down for 12? I went to jail for a temp. Okay. A temp murder. It was more than that, but shit, that's what I did my time for. Okay. In that temp. You know? Street shit, yeah. What is it? Yeah, yeah, but uh, for the attempt, you know what I'm saying? Like, they gave you 12, like, the, the, um, how long they give you on uh, papers? Three years. Three years, yeah. I'm okay. Bro, right now. Okay. So, when you get off? I don't know, shit. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. Yeah. Man, let me know when they tell me sign the papers, man. I do. I want the flow. Right. Yeah, yeah. But they allow you like to travel, leave the city type shit, or no, they allow you to do that right now? No, they allow me to do that. Yeah. <laughs> That's all they allow me to do that. What you know? Yeah, yeah, but shit, dog, 12 years ago, bro, like, I ain't gonna lie, nigga, the music scene was way different. Like, it was way different 12 years ago, like, uh. So now you know who OTF Jam is and his connection to OTF. Fam, it seems he's been a fall guy according to the facts presented to the public. In 2023, during this interview, he came home, he said last year, which would be 2022, indicating that he possibly got arrested in 2010. It's a very low chance that he have years of wiretaps, which they alleged on social media, of Lord Dirk if he too. wasn't even home a year. Technology is so advanced, you can't get away with nothing. I'm telling you. Even having your phone in your pocket while you doing crime, they can trace that. Your phone is pinging off every tower. And then, as long as your phone is in an area, they can pull up a camera that's connected to this store and track you, your whole ride or wherever you going, bro. Like, it's stupid trying to commit a crime in 2024, bro. Like, technology is only getting smarter and better and... Even the kids are read it. Like, I'm going to tell you the truth. FBI ain't even solving most of these cases, bro. It be kids. It be kids solving cases on Reddit. Like, trying to do crime is over with, bro. You just need to, like, cut it out. We need it. One thing we need to start doing, 
We need to like the music, love the music, and all that. But we got to stop glorifying crazy stuff. Because all that do is make kids want to do crazy stuff because they think it's cool. They think catching a body is cool. Getting attempted murders is cool. Going to jail is cool. Like, ain't shit cool about becoming a slave, bro. That's all you're doing. You're setting yourself up to become somebody's slave. So the cool thing is to make money without having to get in trouble, without having to watch your back everywhere you go, without having to do anything illegal where they can have an excuse to take it all away from you. The cool thing is to be smart. Like, stop. Stop doing dumb stuff to get Before the trouble. demise of Quando Rondo Cousin that in LA in August of 2022 that, that the feds is a legend Lord Dirt to fund it. Now we got that squared away. It's time for the change, indictment. Bro. And the first red flag is this. Fam, each person who they call in the defendant out, has been arrested yeah. in this indictment. Leave there was five co-conspirators that's no not been stupid. identified. And of and course, Lord Dirt was one. And I'm going to read the entire indictment. And I'm going to let you guys depict who you guys believe is co-conspirator number one. But after we talk about that, I want us to ask ourselves, why? When you put your heart and soul into creating something, you wanted to make an impact. To adore. To Only five people has been identified. And as of now, as we know, six people has been arrested. Another thing I want us to point out, they have every detail from phone calls plane records, See credit card there? information, and even conversations, I'll you would you only know that. if you was on the other end of a phone call. No one else. With that being said, it's a high chance. No matter what phone call the feds have, they already been tapping little dirt calls. And whatever he said is between him, God, and now in the feds. It, the feds have reported that Lord Dirk allegedly yeah, contacted some you of the people that was connected iPhone. with That's the case it. and threatened to kill them if they talk. Now, if you don't know, the people who was indicted that was identified is Kayvon Grant, a.k.a. Cuz, or a.k.a. Vonnie, DeAndre Wilson, a.k.a. Didi, Keith Jones, a.k.a. Flacker, David Lindsay, a.k.a. Brown Eyes, and Houston, a.k.a. Boogie. Now, was also mentioned co-conspirators one to five meaning it's five co-conspirators were members or associates of an organization called only the family or otf which is among other things produced and sold hip-hop music from artists primarily from chicago now the defendants keith jones aka flocker and david Lindsay, aka brown eyes were members of other gangs in chicago illinois now this is why i need you guys to pay attention early out the gate fam on page three of this 21 page indictment to speak on how king bond lost his life november 6 2020 davon bennett a high-ranking otf member got into a physical altercation with quando rondo at a nightclub in atlanta georgia during that fight an associate of quando rondo pulled out a firearm and shot king von multiple times killing him after the murder co-conspirator one made clear in coded language that co-conspirator one would pay a bounty or monetary reward and or payment to anyone who took part in killing Quando Rondo for his role in King's Vaughn murder. Now after this, people start to talk about some of Lord Dirk lyrics. I don't want that, I want that I pay for. I don't want no niggas who you catch, I want the one I pay for. We on it. Now it's a high chance we know who co-conspirator number one is. Page three of the indictment went on to say on August 18, 2022, the co-conspirators learned that TB was staying at a hotel in Los Angeles, California, referenced to Quando Rondo. As alleged in count one and two, after learning of TB's location, defendants Wilson, Jones, Lindsay, and Houston, and co-conspirator two traveled from Chicago, Illinois, to Los Angeles, California, for the purpose of murdering Quando Rondo. On that same date, August 18, 2022, defendant Grant, aka Vonnie, also traveled by private jet to Los Angeles, California. Page three go on and say, as alleged in count one and two, on August 19, 2022, defendants Grant, Wilson, Jones, Lindsay, and Houston, and co-conspirator number two, used two vehicles to trap, stalk, and attempt to kill Quando Rondo by gunfire, including with a fully automatic firearm, resulting in the death of his cousin. Now on page five it say, co-conspirator one will place bounties on individuals 
that co-conspirator one and other OTF members wanted to kill, including Quando Rondo. As part of the bounty, co-conspirators known and unknown, including Defendant Wilson, aka Didi, would pay anyone who took part in the killing of Quando Rondo and or reward individuals like with lucrative music opportunities with OTF. Co-conspirators known and unknown, including Didi, would recruit others, including Defendant Jones, Lindsay, and Houston, and co-conspirator two to find, track, and Quando Rondo. It went on to say that the defendants and the co-conspirator too would travel throughout Los Angeles County via cars that was given by Vani to trap, find, and take out the life of Quando Rondo. But Vani made a couple purchases in LA. On August 18, 2022, Vani purchased four black ski masks from a sports goods store in LA. But according to over act number 14, on that same day, Vonnie used a credit card ended in 1015, which was an OTF credit card number two. Vonnie rented a hotel room yeah, for the co-conspirators located in Los Angeles, that. California, University City Hotel. Vonnie also met with the co-conspirators on that same day to provide the defendants, Jones, Lindsay, and co-conspirator two with firearms, including a firearm that had been modified to operate as a fully automatic machine gun to take out the life of Quando Rondo. Vonnie also got the two rental cars, a BMW sedan from a like rental company you. in Los Angeles County. Technology, bro. It's best not to do nothing illegal, bro, because it's a wrap. The time we in, bro, is only getting, technology is only getting better. These cameras look like they was taken by a professional camera, bro. These, like, these are just surveillance cameras. And then your phone, it's, a, it's just a natural tracker in itself. So no matter where you go, these cameras can follow your devices. Because they ping off each other. They ping off the towers and all that. You can't get away with nothing. So and a white infinity sedan so with rap. a fake license plate now people putting the la blogger brick baby into the fold because of the overact number two on august 18 2022 one or more co-conspirators including co-conspirator four learned that tb quando rondo was visiting california and staying in the hotel in los angeles and it's crazy to think that according to overact number three on that same day Vani took a private plane from Miami, Florida to Los Angeles, California. That's how important this was to them, allegedly. Now, according to over act number 20, on August 19, 2022, using the BMW and the Infinity, defendants Grants, Wilson, Jones, Lindsay, and Houston, and co-conspirator two, followed and tracked Quando Rondo Black Escalade to a clothing store located on Melrose Avenue in West Hollywood, California. The below image shows the BMW and Infinity following the Black Escalade in which TB, Quando Rondo, and his cousin, Lil Pat, were passengers as the Black Escalade traveled bro, towards how, the clothing just store. Think about and, this, bro. Look how in detail this information is, bro. Like, it's like they know the whole scheme. Like, they got so much information, bro. It's, it's insane. This should wake up a lot of people that's attempting to do things because you want street gratification, bro. These are wealthy people doing this, bro. So imagine you. You don't got millions of dollars to pay for lawyers. You, you ain't got a million dollars to fight the feds or even fight regular cases. Stop trying to put yourself in a situation where you make your life harder than what it is. And I hope what I'm saying reach the youth, like the younger generation that's wanting to be more of something that's not worth being, like a street dude. Like, so the goal is to make it out the streets. As the black escalade traveled towards the clothing store. And then went on to say that the defendants and co-conspirator two using the BMW and the Infinity tracked Quando's Rondo's like Black Escalade to a gas station located on Beverly Boulevard in Los Angeles, California, the Beverly Gas Station. The indictment then go on to say that the defendant Houston drove the Infinity to an alley behind the Beverly Gas Station and parked the vehicle so that the defendants Jones and Lizzie and co-conspirator two could attempt the murder of Quando Rondo. And then went on to say that the defendants and co-conspirator two used firearms produced by Vani, including a fully automatic firearm, to shoot Quando Rondo's car, striking and killing his cousin, who was standing next to Quando Rondo's car while Quando Rondo was inside. 
The images below show the defendant Jones and Lizzie and co-conspirator 2 find their guns at TB's aka Quando Rondo's Black Escalade. After the shooting, the defendants and co-conspirator 2 traveled to a hamburger restaurant in Los Angeles, California, where the co-conspirators discussed, among other things, payments to defendants, Jones, and Lizzie for the shooting that just happened. Dee Dee ended up being the one that gave up the money. Now, the last major detail was over act number 26. That same day, using the OTF credit card number one, co-conspirator number three purchased airline tickets from San Diego, California to Chicago, Illinois for defendants Wilson, Jones, Lindsay, and Houston, and co-conspirator number two, who we all know is also the shooter. Yeah, Lil Dirk is charged in a murder for hire scheme. We're working right now to get more details on this investigation, but we know the 32 year old was arrested Thursday by U.S. Marshals in Florida and is being held in custody. Earlier this month, Banks was sued for his alleged involvement in the deadly shooting of another rapper in Chicago, FBG Duck. That happened four years ago. Weekly's family says Banks had a hand in that gang related shooting in 2020 in the city's Gold Coast neighborhood. Lil Dirk and his team didn't comment on that lawsuit, but of course, we'll be sure to provide you with an update when we learn more about the charges Banks is now facing. Fam, I know this was a lot, but I hope I was able to clear a lot of information that was floating around up. Now, as more developed, I keep you guys updated. But right now, we're looking at a rapper who lost it all because he wanted, Man, it's sad, wanted to slap for Vaughn. Some of his fans and other fans been using against him for almost two years. And now that he allegedly did, they still hit a laugh and be entertained. Let me know how you guys feel about this one in the comments. Man, me personally, I don't wish jail on nobody. And to be honest with you, I hate jail so much. So my goal is to make sure like younger people don't wind up in these situations. So I hope like I hope a lot of people start taking these cases that's been going on seriously bro and and see the wake up call like young thug and now we got little dirt and we got like bro like i'm telling you bro like the streets ain't where it's at this gang gang stuff ain't what where it's at ain't none of it's cool because what they gonna do they gonna use it against you i'm telling you so it, all the games you claim and the songs and the bodies you claiming and the beefs that you put in on your record, they going to put it in your song. And if you keeping it real, as you say you are, they going to really put you away, bro. So all the younger people watching this, please let this be a wake up call because we need our kings to stay free. If you make it out, if you if you get blessed and put in an opportunity where you can become an entertainer and you from the streets. Let that be the day that you cut ties with the streets and you fully 100% be out the streets. Stop trying to live two lives at the same time. You, you're going to have to choose one. You're going to have to choose one. Either you're going to be a full entertainer, somebody that's done turned over a new leaf and your main goal is just to provide and take care of your family with your abilities. Or you just going to be a full crash shot, bro. But you got to choose, man. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you stay tuned because I got more heat coming soon. Put in the comments of some videos y'all want to see me react to next. And I'll make sure I do that. And until next time, we out this thing.